Through this series of explorations and conversations, I felt my understanding of children's understanding deepen profoundly. I began to see the complexity in children's thinking about friendship, about this abstract idea that is also a deeply intimate, personal, lived experience. Um, I, I think I would have said at the time that, that kids couldn't really reflect in and articulate their reflections about something as abstract as friendship. And I, I was totally wrong. They were eloquent in their expression of the meaning of friendship and the content of friendship and the evolution of friendship. Um, the notion that you can be um, deeply um, beloved with a friend and deeply angry at the same time. A child at one juncture drew um, a sketch of two friends growling and grinning at the same time as a way to get at that notion that you can be enraged and deeply in love with a person at the same time. Uh, example after example of that depth of thinking and that, that sort of nuance to the thinking that I'd underestimated um, children to be able to do. Um, I think I also would have thought at the time that friendship is a sort of instinctive thing for kids. They're kind of like puppies and they just all, you know, they get to the playground and they all run around and play and they're friends, right? Which was my simplistic understanding of friendship. Um, in fact, they had very complex um, navigation through the world of relationships, and I came to understand that uh, in much more depth through the course of this study, and in a way that I never would have if I'd stuck with behavior management and trying to give them just skills and, and coaching about how to talk with each other, though that certainly is useful, my thinking wouldn't have shifted, and, and their thinking wouldn't have been as deeply informed by this exchange of ideas.